Good morning, everybody, and welcome back to music class. Today, we're going to be looking more at the song, We Shall Overcome. We're going to start by reviewing the history of the song, We Shall Overcome, which we learned about in this book, We Shall Overcome, the story of a song, which we read last week. We will also be creating new lyrics. This song has a history of new words being created depending on what's been happening in the world. And so I want to give you an opportunity to make your own lyrics to the song based on what you think needs to change in this world. We have two goals for today. The first is, I can write new lyrics to We Shall Overcome. And two, I can sing my new lyrics. So to review, We Shall Overcome has had a long history as a song and as a protest song. In the 1800s, it was sung by enslaved people in the United States. And they were using the words, I'll be all right. In the early 1900s, it became a church song with the words, I'll overcome someday. In 1940, it became a protest song with the words, we will overcome. And by the 1960s, it had become an anthem of the civil rights movement, which fought for equal rights for both black and white people in the United States. And then it had the final words, which were, we shall overcome. After that had been used by many different causes across the globe to fight for peace, justice, and equality. I put the lyrics of the first verse up here on the screen so that you can sing with me. Let's sing the first verse together. One, two, ready, sing. We shall overcome. We shall overcome. We shall overcome. So We talked about the other verses that we sing with this song last week. Let's look at those. So the second verse was, we'll walk hand in hand. Let's sing that one together. So whenever we sing, we shall overcome in the first part of the song, we'll sing, we'll walk hand in hand. I'll sing with you. Let's sing a little bit lower. I think that other one was too high. Mm, one, two, ready, go. We'll walk hand in hand. We'll walk hand in hand, we'll walk hand in hand, someday, all oh, deep in my heart, I do believe that we shall overcome someday. The other verses were similar. We had, we are not afraid, and we shall live in peace. Let's sing both of those together. Ready? We are not afraid. And when we get to the someday, we say today instead. Ready, sing. We are not afraid. We are not afraid. We are not afraid today. Now we shall live in peace. Ready, sing. We shall live in peace. We shall live in peace. We shall live in peace. Someday. Oh, deep in my heart. Oh, That we shall overcome someday.
Here's my question to you. What do all of these verses have in common? What is the same, para el mismo, do all of these verses? What do they have in common? Take 10 seconds to think, what do all these verses have in common? You thinking? The biggest thing that they have in common is that they all share a hope for the future, something that we hope will change. We're hoping that we shall overcome someday. We're going to get over this hardship, this injustice. We hope that we will walk hand in hand and we'll be together. Saying something about today, we are not afraid. This is not even hope, that's just certainty. We are not afraid. And again, in the fourth verse, we shall hope that we're going to live in peace. We shall live in peace someday. That's the big thing that ties them all together, is that hope for the future, the hope for change. But also, there's something in the structure of these verses that is in common, they have in common with each other. And that is that they all have five syllables. We shall overcome. We'll try again. We shall overcome. Second verse, we'll walk hand in hand. Third verse, we are not afraid. Fourth verse, we shall live in peace. So all of these verses have five syllables. And when they have five syllables, it makes it easier for them to be sung. If they have fewer than four, five syllables, it would have to fill up that space in the song by making things long or one sentence good. If you had a lot more than five syllables, then you get really crunched up and you wouldn't have enough time to say all those syllables. So the perfect sweet spot is five syllables when you're making a verse for We Shall Overcome. Your job today is going to be to make your own verse of We Shall Overcome. And just like we talked about, it has to be only five syllables. In Spanish, debe tener solo cinco sílabas. It could start with we or we shall. Puede comenzar con we o we shall. But it doesn't have to. For example, we've noticed that we'll walk hand in hand is not we shall. We are not afraid is not we shall. Or you could make a whole other verse. In our book, there was a verse that was black and white together. So that was totally different. It wasn't we or we shall. The verse that you create should describe what you hope for the world, the change you want to see. Debería describir lo que esperas para el mundo. And finally, you can write in English or Spanish. Puede escribir en inglés o español. So if you feel more comfortable writing in Spanish, go ahead. I'm sure it would be really beautiful to make your own verse in Spanish. I'm going to show you now some examples of verses I created based on some things I hope for the world. The first one I made is, we will vote for peace. When people vote together, they can make change in the world. And so I was thinking that one thing I want to see is people voting together to make the world a more peaceful place. Voting to put people in charge that will help to make this world better. Instead of voting for people who will make the world more divided or more angry or more hateful. And so I said, we will vote for peace was the verse. Has five syllables. We will vote for peace. Would you sing it with me? One, two, ready, sing. We will vote for peace. We will vote for peace. We will vote for peace someday. Oh, deep in my heart, I do believe that we shall overcome someday. My second example was children lead us onwards. I was thinking about talking to everybody at PS91, all of the students there, that you guys have the best ideas. You guys are know what needs to happen. You see what's happening in the world and you know it needs to change. 
And you are going to become that change as you grow older, you go to middle school, high school, college, and you become the leaders in this country. And so we need to look, as adults, we need to look to you as our future. And so I made this verse, children lead us onwards. Now you might notice, however, that I sort of broke one of the rules. Children lead us on words is actually six syllables. There are some spots where you can actually make the little six syllables work. And I want you to tell me, well, you can think about rather, if you think my six syllable verse works in this song. If you go to seven, it's going to be really tough, but six sometimes can work out. So let's see. Won't you sing it with me? One, two, ready, go. Children, lead us onwards. Children, lead us onwards. Children, lead us onwards. Someday. Oh, deep in my heart, I do believe that we shall overcome someday. I think it works. Hopefully you think it does too. For your exit ticket today, your job is going to be to create your own verse. And your flipgrid assignment will be to sing your verse for me in a video. Then you can share those videos with the other students in your grade. Let's look first at your exit ticket. So here we have the assignment page. And we can see that we've done number one, watch the lesson video. We've done that, you're doing that now. And then number two, complete your exit ticket. So we'll click there. We shall overcome week two exit ticket. Write your name below. So I'll write my name, Mr. Potter. If you haven't already, watch my lesson video below. So you can watch the lesson video if you haven't done that, but you're doing that now, so you don't need to. What's something you want to change in the world? I want people to listen to the children in their lives because they are smart and realize what needs to change. So that's what my thought was. And then write a verse to We Shall Overcome based on your previous answer. Remember that your verse should only have five syllables, unless you can make six syllables work. So based on this idea here, I had created, as I told you, my verse, children lead us onwards. Then, if you want to write more verses, you can do so below. I don't know why it's the saying. Onwards is definitely a word. Um, my second verse, I said, was, we will vote for peace. When you're done writing any verses you also want to make, I can click Submit. Then it says your exit ticket has been recorded. Make sure you submit a video on Flipgrid. Click here to go to the Flipgrid assignment. So I'll click there. This is the fifth grade page. I can click Login with Google. If you see your name already, or you see your account, you click there. Otherwise, you're going to use your NYC students account. So I'll click there to log in. We have We Shall Overcome, week two, June 17th. Record yourself singing the verse or verses of We Shall Overcome that you wrote as part of your exit ticket. So the ones I just made and I sang with you. Click on Mr. Potter's face to hear more information. So you click on my face. Press the green plus button to start recording your video. So I could press my button here. It'll load up. You can see me with the other camera. I can click here to start. And I we will vote for peace. And then when I'm done, I click next. And I can sing the verse. And I can click next. I can take a selfie. Click next. And I could post my video. I can give it a, a title. Let's say 
oh my goodness, children need us onward, for example. And then I can click complete. I notice that it's not shown up yet because my video has to be approved by my educator, which is me. So I can approve your video when you submit it. If you don't want other people to see your video, that's fine. Just let me know and I can make it so only I will see it. Oh, let's actually, let's check back in here. So we've done the exit ticket. We've done a flip good video. We've done, so now I can click mark as done so you know complete the assignment. That means I can go and check. Make sure you complete your exit ticket and your Flipgrid video before you click mark as done. So let's head back over to our uh, wrap-up page. So now you've done your exit ticket, your Flipgrid video. So now it's time to sing a goodbye song. One, two, ready, sing. Now it's time to go. We've been singing and playing all the day. Until tomorrow we must say. Now it's time to go. Bye-bye, everybody. See you next week.